Here's the LEGO TIE Fighter and Y-Wing 7150 and X-Wing Fighter 7140 comparison. The TIE Fighter and Y-Wing has 407 pieces while the X-Wing Fighter has 263 which makes sense though because one is bigger than the other. When it comes to the minifigure selection, they're both nice since you get R2-D2 Luke Skywalker in his pilot uniform, Biggs and a Rebel Technician in the X-Wing Fighter, while in the TIE Fighter and Y-Wing you only get 3 minifigures, the Gold Leader, R5-D4 and Darth Vader. However, Darth Vader is a really cool minifigure and considering that it was made in 1999, Lego did a very good job when it comes to the prints on his torso and also his helmet. So I think for the minifigures, I prefer the TIE Fighter and Y-Wing just because the Darth Vader is just so well done for a 1999 minifigure. Now when it comes to the ships, they're all nice, but I noticed that the X-Wing fighters wings are quite fragile and they break also easily when you try to change the X-Wing into a fighting stance. I don't find this issue with the TIE Advance Wings or the Y-Wing. However, I do think that the TIE Fighter and X-Wing have better colors that are more accurate to the movies than the Y-Wing as it has some random red pieces that are visible on the ship and they're not even hidden. It's very hard to tell which one is best when it comes to the builds, but I'd say it has to be the TIE Fighter and Y-Wing because of the more solid and resistant build. So it's very good for playability, but if you're a collector, I guess it doesn't matter as much. However, I do appreciate that the X-Wing included a small technician service card. I think that's very nice and it's very good for playability. So I guess the X-Wing is still pretty good when it comes to that. Finally, we have the box art and I think that they're both great. You see all the ships in action and at the back of the boxes, LEGO gives you different creative building ideas that you can use, which I think is nice for playability once again and for creativity. It's definitely something that I find interesting about the older LEGO Star Wars sets. And I'm not sure why they stopped doing it. I guess it just kind of looked weird for like older people who collected Legos. But I think it's pretty like interesting and funny. To conclude, I think the TIE Fighter and Y-Wing is better than the X-Wing Fighter in terms of how it's built and the minifigures. But honestly, it really comes down to which ship you prefer. Are you an X-Wing fan, TIE Advance fan, or Y-Wing fan? Let me know in the comments as well as which set you prefer. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the video and the channel with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.